Hi, I'm Dave Hodge from Focus Educational Software and today I'm going to show you how Bebot Lesson Activities 3 can be integrated into your curriculum and how this easy to use program will help you teach the computing program of study. We've created a 3D on-screen world for Bebot which is filled with lots of exciting tasks and activities from baby animals to bridges and structures the fruit we eat, and even mini beasts. Each of the mats has four activities. In order to complete the activity, Bebot must be moved through the four squares, pausing on each square. The information about the activity is on the right hand side of the screen and audio instructions are included as well. Bebot is cooking and needs these vegetables. Leeks, runner beans, peas and a red cabbage. In order to complete the activity, Bebot must be moved to each of the four squares shown. This can be done square by square, or the stepper button can be turned off and the series of moves can be programmed directly into Bebot and then run. Well done! That's the right answer! If a mistake has been made, then this can be corrected. It's possible to move back through the series of moves and then go to the edit function and change the move. Once the series of moves has been completed, print out a record of what's been done. The printout will show a picture of the mat, where the beatbot starts, the instructions and the series of moves. Once the on-screen activities have been completed, the logical next step is to take the printouts and use them to test the results by programming the real-life beatbot. For this purpose, all of the activity mats featured in the program are available to buy from Focus Educational Software. Also included in the program is the option to be able to show axes. This is useful when working with coordinates and can also be used in conjunction with the maps that are shipped with the program. Once children have finished the tasks, there's plenty of scope in the program for extension activity. The shell designer allows Bebot to be personalised to each student. So we can do a drawing, add some fill colours, this can be tiled, added to Bebot, change Bebot's body, click apply, and now we have a personalised design which runs within the program. Going back to the shell designer, these designs can also be printed out. Here we have what's called the jacket printer. This pattern can be repeated and printed out.
Once the designs have been saved, they're then available in the shell gallery. It's also possible to create shells using photographs. This gives a complete personalized beepot. And this can be saved to the shell gallery so each child could have their own beepot. Adding your own activity mats to Beatbot Lesson Activities 3 is very easy to do. Click the button at the top left of the screen and choose New Picture Mat. Give the mat a name. Mine's going to be Alphabet and Numbers. Click Next. Choose a picture. This can be a photograph or an image taken off the internet. Select my image. Open. set the number of squares, click apply and the image is now in the program as a new mat. You'll see that it's shown in a menu called extra mats. If you want to create a mat using a number of photographs, for example this might be a set of photographs that you've taken of your class, we'll call this class 1. Go to where the photographs have been downloaded onto your computer and then select the photographs. They may need cropping. Select each square one at a time. Choose the picture. And do this for every square on the mat. Once you have all nine pictures, click apply and the mat is now in the program. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For more information, visit focuseducational.com forward slash bbot or send us an email at bbot at focuseducational.com.